What's up everyone? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create sublocations for your locations. So if you're creating locations such as like a baseball field or a basketball facility, and you want to have like sublocations for, you know, field one, field two, court one, court two, and you want to filter down more by the location and what court it's actually taking place or what field it's actually taking place, you can create sublocations. So once you're logged in, Go to the gear icon in the top right, and then on the left, click on locations. Now, as mentioned in the other video, any locations would show up here. So now, let's just say this location test is a baseball field. So, and we want to add a sub-location to it. So what we'll do is just add a new location. And at the top here, very first thing is sub-location. So if turned on, it'll be a sub-location form. So just click that. Now you could add in the sublocation name. So we can do field one. Now location. So you just got to click on this find button and then find that location that you want to associate it to. So let's say, you know, this location test was the one where we're saying it's a baseball field. Click on that. It's rentable. So it'll be rentable if the location is set to rentable. And then this sublocation would be two. And then if you want to add any other additional information for the sublocation, you can put it in here, um, like where to enter the field or any other additional information for how you want that sublocation to be. Hit save. And then you'll see that there's two sub, there's two location tests here for location, but then you'll see here, there's a sublocation now for field one. So now you can filter down more. You can make more of those. You could, have more than, you know, you could have five fields, split up however you want. And uh, that's how you create sublocations.